Sure indeed, again we are bound to give great honor, praise to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the one who is worthy of all the praise. Indeed, he is worthy of all the honor, all that we can render to God Almighty. He's worthy of it all. And indeed, we thank God and praise God from the depths of our heart. We do honor our very own beloved Bishop and Apostle Bishop Dalton Green. Amen. We are thanking God always for him. Thanking God again. God bless them and had another year to his life to see his 87th birthday. Amen. We thank God for Bishop Green. Thanking God for him allowing me this privilege to come before you all, filling in his stead once more. We thank God for the word of God. It's going to live it. It's going to abide it forever. And thank God also for that selection coming from the choir. Thank God there shall. It's hard to hold your peace in a wicked world like this. It's hard for God preacher to hold the peace. I, God says, shall never hold the peace. They cry out. Yes. Spear. You can't, you gotta cry out against everything. Because we are living in the last days. I, God is a perilous time shall come. Perilous time is here now. And if they have a time for us to cry loud, I want to thank God for all the saints of God praying people. I'm telling the world going to remember us when we're gone. My God, you're going to thank God. Would to God. My God, you was among God people. True worshiper. Thank God for being among uh, true praying people. Saints of God that are fasting and praying, offering up their body, a living sacrifice to God Almighty, thanking God for prayer. God is a prayer answering God. Thank God I'm not ashamed to tell the world I believe in prayer and fasting. I believe that such thing only going out, but I pray and fasting. Hallelujah. You gotta be in the place to say the prayer to God. Yes. You, want, you don't want just to make a many prayer and it's not heard. God is a prayer answering God yes. love. Live so your prayer can be heard by God Almighty. God I thank God for praying people. They have the three days, three nights shutting. And I were right in the midst of them. My God, I pray all night, right on up to after six in the morning. I believe, you know, he was our example. The word of God tell us that we should follow his step. Is that Bible? Amen. And you better get me, I believe it's in Luke chapter two, six and verse twelve. One place I read where he prayed all night. Devil of man, well, you got to pray. Prayer is the key. I'm telling the world, prayer is the key. I'm living the life for God. Word of God said, men are always to pray and not to faint. Listen what the word of God said. Luke chapter 6, I believe, and verse 12. It came to pass. It came to pass. In those days. In those days. That he went out into a mountain to pray. He believed in prayer. Watch somebody. They have a lot of words, a lot of excellence, their speech, but when it comes to prayer, they don't have a, uh, they don't want to pray. Amen. We're going to pray all night here today. Amen. My God, we're going to have all night prayer. He went out into the mountain. 
into mountain and to pray to pray and continue all night in prayer to God. How long did he pray? All night. Not long with praying all night. All night he prayed to God. I God saints have to leave in prayer and fasting. Thank God for being um, associated with praying people. Thank God for prayer. It's very important. Continue all. You better get me, I believe, Luke chapter 5 and verse 15. Luke chapter 5 and verse 15. But so much the more. You know you can get the victory. Amen. So much the more. Great there a thing of brought of him. Read on. And great multitude came together to hear. Great multitude came together to hear. Came together to hear. And to be healed by him of their infirmity. So you can get delivered from your infirmity. You can get delivered. I don't care what it is. God is a healer. God is a deliverer. To be healed of that infirmity. And he withdrew himself into the wilderness. You know that sometimes you got to know all the Withdrew yourself from politicians. Sometimes you got to know how to separate yourself. You got to know how to withdraw. You need some quiet time between you and God. He withdrew himself into the wilderness and prayed. Hallelujah. He believed in prayer. Here he withdrew himself into the wilderness and prayed. And prayed. And it came to pass on a certain day. On a certain day. As he was teaching. As he was teaching that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law, read on, sitting by which were come out of every town of Galilee, every town of Galilee, and Judea and Jerusalem, read on, and the power of the law was present to heal them. Do you hear this? That's what you need. You need God power. Oh yes. The power of the law. Was present to heal them. My God, the more you pray, the more power you got with God. You need power with God. Amen. You need power with God. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Power is one thing you might have a lot of excellence, yes, people. Right. But do you have power with God? That's it. This the power, hallelujah. Praise I thank God. God for power with God. Yeah. I thank God for power with God. Yeah. Power with God will take you a long way to love. The power of the Lord. Hallelujah. You know that's what the world needs. You need power with God. It's one thing. You might have a lot of excellence in your speech. You can go to Luke, I believe, chapter, Luke chapter, uh, get me 16. Luke chapter 16 and verse, and verse, uh, start at verse 15. Now uh, maybe I run out of the verse 13. My God, you got to know how to separate yourself. Amen. You can't serve two masters. Yes. Some oh, people Lord. try to be a friend of God and a friend of the world. Yes. Lord. Water wrapped up. Yes. Have a lot of profession that they know God. Yes. But still want to wrap yeah. up with the world. That's right. I want to hit this trip. You got to do it. Read on. No servant can serve two masters. Do you hear right. what God said? No servant. No servant. Can serve two masters. No servant. Can serve two masters. Can serve two masters. He will hate the one. My God, you're going to have to know which one you got to hold to yeah. and which one you got to hate. Yeah. My God, Elijah told them, if God be God, then serve him. If Baal be Baal, serve him. But you cannot serve two masters. For either, either, he will hate the one. Read on. And love the other. And love the other. Or else he will hold to the one. You got to make up in your mind. Yeah, Come on, right. Who you got to hold to? Glory right. to God. I hear, uh, I hear the apostle James yeah. in the book of James 4 and 4. Yeah. You know you got to, yeah. uh, one place and how long you have between two opinions. My God, you can't be a friend of God no, no, no. and a friend of the world. 
the way of the transgression is born. Yeah. That's why people try to cut around and try to make it this way is right. This way is right. My God, the problem is not in the world, is in us. My God, this is what the word of God is. I don't care how you try to make it wrong, it's right in it. Hallelujah. The law of the Lord is perfect. God set up his work. The problem is in you. It's not in God, it's in you. Not what God said it is perfect. But the problem you try to struggle the fence. Listen to what James said, James 4 and 4. He adulterers. He adulterers. And adulterers. No, he not. Listen, no, he not. That the friendship of the world. You want to be a friend of the world yes. and a friend of God. Not a friendship. You know you're not honest. No. You got to be honest. Yes. And you try to make it look like hey, yes. the word is God and this and that. No, the prophet Paul said, in me. Yes. That is in my flesh. Yes. Well, yes. it's no good thing. Yes. You got to put the word, you got to be honest. Yes. You want to be a friend of the world. You want to be a friend of the world. Enemy with God. But the hey, God ain't gonna let you serve the world and serve them. Right. Whosoever. I don't care what your position. I don't care if you're a preacher. I don't care who you are. I don't care what it is. God said my counsel gonna stand. Right. Whosoever. Will be a friend of the world. Do you hear how plainly make it? A friend of the world. Is an enemy of God. Is an enemy of the world. Chose who you want to serve. Yes. Whosoever yes. will be a friend of the world. Oh my God, that's the word. Is the, is the, of the world is an enemy of God. Whosoever, whosoever, who he God is no respect of person. Amen. He said, whosoever, whosoever, read on, therefore will be a friend of the world. Read on, is the enemy of God. Oh, is an enemy. Enemy of God. Is an enemy. Enemy. That's it, this is God. Enemy of God. Enemy of God, and, and you don't need to try to justify God. yourself. Why yeah. this? Why you have got to be honest. Is an enemy. Enemy of God. Enemy of God. Don't play a little pleasure. And what you're wrapped up in, if you have a weakness, just acknowledge it. Right. So don't try to make God word wrong when it's right. It's ever circling him. Read on. Back to Luke chapter uh, uh, 16, 13. Let me hear what Luke said. No servant. No servant. I can serve two masters. You ain't going to serve God and the world. Can't do it. If you're the friend of the world, you're the enemy of God. My God, do you hear what God wants? God ain't going to let you give part to him and part to the world. God ain't going to share with the devil. He ain't going to share with the devil. Read out. No servant can serve you. No servant can Preachers wanna in the pulpit yeah. serving God and yeah. the world. When when the ball game come, they close the church. Yes, sir. I oh, give you oh, oh, I give you a mini service. Yeah, they do. Oh, my God. Why mini service? Oh, no. Yes, because we got to go see the ball game. Yes, oh, Jesus. <laughs> no servant. No servant can serve two masters. No servant can serve two masters. No master. I, I want you to. I want to lay this before you. No servant serve two masters. Well, either he will hate the one. Either you will hate the one. Love the other. You got a name. You know, Elijah said, if God, how long halt he between two opinions? That's not what he told him, I believe. He told him that over there in 1 Kings chapter 18, somewhere 32. How long? 
you're halting one feet with God and one feet out there with the world. My God, Jesus, so when the devil said, come down, my God, God said, it's written. Yeah, written that's right. I'm going to put what's written. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't bow down. Right, you know, the devil wants you to bow down, yeah. but don't bow down. We are my first king. Yes. I believe to 18. Run it on down. Where is it? Where is it? How long? You hold between two of them. 20. Elijah came unto all the people and said, Yes. How long hold ye? All right. I want to put this on like Elijah. How long? What? All the people said, How long? Yes. Hold ye between two of them. Two of them. If the Lord be God, if the Lord be God, follow him. Follow him. But Baal then follow him. And if God be God, for who are you going to follow? But you can't follow too. That's it, Bishop. No servant. No servant. No servant <coughs> can serve two master. I get up and eject this in my heart. No servant can yes. serve two masters. Read on. For well, either he will hate the one. <laughs> Elijah know they couldn't serve God and Baal. Yes. You got to make a decision who are you going to serve. Amen. Either you're going to hate the one. And despise the other. And despise the other. You cannot serve God and man. Do you hear what? God. He's the one state these words. That's you right. cannot serve God and man. That's right. Jesus Christ, he was God Almighty manifest in the flesh. And he know. You cannot serve God. Amen. You can't serve two. Read on. And the first also who was covetous. Read on. Heard all these things and deride him. People will deride you when you try to live a life for God. Deride him. And he said unto them. He said unto them. Ye are they which justify yourself yeah. for men. People yeah. love to put up a big show on before men. Yeah. That justify that you can't get around God's word. I don't care how you justify. I don't care how you put on a big show. He are there. All right, the love. But who? But God knows your heart. God knows your heart. God looking at your heart. You might get by man, but you can't get by God. Elijah, uh, uh, I mean Elijah. Elijah, get thy Sammy. Sammy, God sent Sammy down to Jesse's house to anoint him a king. But when Eliab stood before Sammy, he stood before Samuel. Eliab had the guilt, he had the height, he had everything up the her to be a king. But you see, God looked, he, he get by man, but he couldn't get by God. That's in First Samuel, I believe, 16 and 6. You might get by man, but I want you to know you're not going to get by God. No servant. You ain't going to get around God. Read on. I want to put this out before the world. First Samuel chapter 6. At chapter 16 and verse 6, I believe. Yeah. And it came to pass. It came to pass. When they were come. When they were come. He looked at Elam. He looked at Elam. And said, surely. My God, you see, God don't see us then. I said, he yeah. went according to his eyesight. Surely. The before him. The Lord anointed. This got to be him. He got the heart. He got the speech. Excellency of speech, you got the built. The Lord anointed before him. It's before him. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Oh, God, God, he have the Lord say, the love. The Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance. Don't let the countenance fool him. Or oh, his height. Don't let the height fool him. Or oh, his statue. Don't let the statue fool him. Oh, Praise God. Read on. Because I will refuse him. God said, I am God. I refuse him. For I am God. I don't 
don't see like man see it. Praise God. For man is on the outward appearance. Man, look at uh, the outward appearance. Amen. God look it on the heart. Thank you. Where God look at? Look at on the heart. He look at out the heart. You might get by man, but you ain't gonna get by God. You might get around man, but you're not gonna get around God. Because God looking, you might do a good job, justify yourself before man. You might pass man inspection. Eli, Eliah passed son inspection. But he couldn't pass God inspection. My God, that's what I love about God. Ain't nobody going to get around God. That's why you don't have to fret and run and get in, in God's day. Let God fix it. He ain't nobody going to get around God. I pray and leave it in the hands of the Lord. He had the Lord say, God is greater than man. Oh, Eliab couldn't get around God. He get around Samuel, but he couldn't get around God. God said, I don't see like men see it. Men look at the outward appearance, but I am God Almighty. I'm looking right at the heart. I know the uprising, and I know the down sitting. I'm looking at the heart. You ain't going to get it. That's why David counseled his son. Hey, Solomon in 1 Chronicles 28 and 9. Everybody don't know God. They profess that they know God, but in works they deny him. God looking at the heart. 1 Samuel 20, 20, 28 and 9. Ain't hey, nobody gonna get around God, saints. Just pray and leave it in the hands of the Lord. Thou Solomon, my, my son. son. No doubt of God is thy father. You know, if everybody didn't know God, they wouldn't have so much trouble. Thank you. But that's right. They said they know God, but they don't know God. Amen. Thou Solomon, my son. No doubt of God is thy father. Know the God of thy father. And serve him with a perfect heart. Serve him. Serve him with the perfect with heart. What kind of heart? Perfect heart. A perfect heart. Yeah. With the willing mind. Do it with a willing mind. Yeah. For the Lord searches all the hearts. God know. That's what I love about yeah. God. While I'm sleeping, he's searching. Amen. He's searching all the heart. And with the willing mind, for the Lord searches all the heart. All the heart. And understand all the imaginations. Hallelujah. Of the he know you. Uh, imagination. Yes, he know the thoughts. Yes. He know your uprising. Yes. He know your down sin. Read on. If thou seek him, if thou seek him, he will be found. As he Somebody is. need to seek God now. You that are out there in Raider Land, thank you all for your calling, brother calling, brother from Clarksville. See, I can't wait for you all to come and start a holy temple in Clarksville, Tennessee. My God, I tell you, when God will make a way. God is a way maker. Do it. Do it. With a women. Go on it right. Go on it right. I don't want to come before God making many prayer. And after I make all these prayer, God say, I don't hear. Mm. No, those people have such a zeal. Yeah. Elijah, how long you gonna uh, hide between two opinions? If God be God serving, yes, if Baal serving, right. and then uh, he said, let's put it to the test. Yes, the God that answer by fire, yes. let him be the God. Don't put yes. no water underneath it. Put it around and put no water. Let's put it. One day you know you're going to have to put it. your faith, your belief that you profess, you know you're going to have to put it to the test. A testing day coming. You're going to have to know God for yourself. My God, then he put it to the test. My God, they were hiring from morning right on. My God, oh, Bill, oh, Bill. No boss, no one. They have such a zeal to they cut themselves. They lunch themselves. They burn their leap at the altar. Blood gathered. My God, and 
Elijah, he know the God we serve. He he's a prayer answering God. David said, Oh thou I hear a prayer. But they didn't hear nothing. So Elijah said, Well, he mocked them. Yes, sir. Maybe they got you, sir. I don't know what guy got God. Maybe he's on a journey. Maybe he's pursuing. Maybe he's sleeping. Because Elijah know God don't slumber or sleep. God said he don't slumber and he don't sleep. So Elijah said, you might say, your God is gone to sleep. He needs somebody to wake him. And they holler and wake up the altar. And Elijah said, come there. Come there. Come there. My God. And he prayed, Lord, turn the heart of these people back to you again. Elijah began to repair the altar and he said, Lord, I want you to, I think that's in, the, in 1836, Elijah said, I, I, Lord, I'm doing this thing according to your word. My God, they don't break up the altar. People out there just doing a lot of stuff, making a lot of noise. But when you know God and you do it according to God's word, you've got to get the result. Listen to what the man of God said in 18, 1 Kings 18, I believe, verse 36. I believe it's somewhere here. Yeah. Let me hear what he said here. 1 Kings 18, 36. Yes. Read on. Praise God. Yes. And it came to pass. It came to pass. At the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice. And after they done break up everything. That Elijah uh, uh, came after came Elijah done mock them and say, Sir, my God, that God don't go to sleep. <laughs> but our God don't slumber. Us. And God. Elijah did what? And it came to pass at the time of the evening. Read on. At the time of offering of the evening sacrifice. Read on. The Elijah the prophet came near and said. And said. Lord God of Abraham. Oh, hallelujah. It's not like he no son. Oh, yeah. He wasn't doing like what. Lord God of Abraham. My God, he talked to the God of Abraham. Yes, Isaac. Oh, how did it seem like this man have some knowledge about this God that he served? God of Abraham. Isaac and of Israel. Isaac and of Israel. Let me know this day. My God, he talk. It seems like he has some connection with God. Come on, man. Let it be known this day. The God, God in Israel. That you are God in Israel. And that I am thy servant. Hallelujah. My God, let him let the people know I am your servant. That I that I have done all these things I'm, at thy word. I'm doing this at thy word. Read on. Hear me, O oh Lord. Hear me! Hear me! That this people may know. Oh, saints, what a blessing when you, when you talk to God and you know God yeah. hearing you. Right. Hear me, O oh Lord! Hear me, that this people. God, Lord, I want you to hear me. Yeah. You know, we're going before God tonight in prayer. What a blessing when you know God hearing you. Hear me, O oh Lord! Hear me! Hear me! That this people. That this people may know, may know that thou art the Lord God, that you are the Lord God, that thou hast turned thy heart, read on, back again. Lord, turn that. God can turn your heart back. Amen. My oh, God, yes. Yes. don't tell me now. Amen. That's why it's not good to fight God, people. Don't right. no fight God, man. I made me think, I'm not going to read, but it made me think about the David, some Absalom. Trying to take the kingdom. Yeah. Don't take something God didn't give you. Yes, Trying to take the kingdom from his father. Mm -hmm. Even though he went and took his counselor. Oh yes, he yeah. went and took David's counselor. And he suffered. And everything he got. But David was a praying man. Oh yes. Right. David prayed. Hallelujah. When they come and tell him, say, David, you're in trouble. Hallelujah. He done got your counselor. But no, David said, Lord, I want you to turn the counsel of a history, turn it to foolishness. What a mighty God, a praying man will get the victory. And you know, God turned that counsel to foolishness. Oh, yes. So, uh, so uh, all the good counsel and his upper did in David's days, and it with Absalom, Absalom rejected uh, and his upper counsel. Why? So God have appointed to bring evil upon Absalom. Yeah. 
the worst thing you can do is go up against a child of God, a man of God. God will turn everything you put to foolishness so he can give his people the victory. Hear me, O Lord. Hear me, O Lord. Hear me, God. This people. Not this people. They know that our Lord God. That you are God. And that thou hast turned their hearts back again. Read on. Then the fire of the Lord. Then the fire of the Lord fell. Of the Lord fell. And consumed the burnt sacrifice. Consumed the burnt and sacrifice. And the stone. Okay. Read on. And the dust. Read on. And licked up the water. Read on. And was in the trench. Read on. And when all the people saw it. God will make your enemy acknowledge. Amen. They fight him, but God will make them have to acknowledge. When all the people saw it. They fell on their face. God will bring the enemy to the face right before him. Amen. They fell on the face. They said the Lord. Then God will make the acknowledging yeah. the yeah. Lord. He is the God of the Lord. He is God. He, he is, is the God. He is God. The Lord, he is God. He is God. He is the God. He is what? He is the God. Yeah. So all what they were doing. And all they were cutting themselves. They have a seed of God, but not a corn to land. He is the God. My God says, let me tell you, it's a blessing when you know God for yourself. It's a blessing you better get me Psalms chapter, I think, 33 and verse 8. Let me be brief before time failing. What a blessing when you know God for yourself, saints. When you can send those prayers up and you know, yes. Elijah tell God, hear me. I'm not hearing everybody crying. No, sir. You don't believe me? If you don't believe me, you better, you better, if you don't believe me, get me Isaiah before you go to Psalms 33. Get me Isaiah chapter 59 and 1. The Lord has his not shown it, that it cannot hear. That's it. Neither his ears heavy. Heavy. The Lord hand is not short. That he cannot that say. That he cannot say. Neither his ears. Lord hand not short and that he cannot say. Yes. Neither his ears heavy. Heavy. That he cannot hear. And listen to this now. But your iniquity has separated between you and your God. You know when when you go before God, you don't want nothing to separate. Between you and your God, the, the elder will open up with the scripture, keep thy tongue from evil and thy lip from speaking. If your tongue gonna cause you to separate between you and God, break it off. Read on. But your iniquity has separated between you and your God. Separate between you and your God. And your sins have hid his face from you. Hid his face from you. That he will not hear. Say he will not hear. He will not hear. Read up. For your hands are defiled with blood. Defiled with blood. Your veins with iniquity. With iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies. You gotta watch, watch that tongue. Oh yeah. Watch that tongue. Don't let your tongue get you in trouble. Don't let your lips cause you to get in trouble to separate you from God. Isaiah chapter one and twelve. Now let me be brief. So whatever it is, dinner, you need a connection with God. You better have a connection with God. Trouble gonna come when it's just gonna be between you and God. You got the money on there, sister, brother on there, but you gotta have that connection with God. Read on. When you come and hear before me, read on. Who has required this at your hands? At your hands. To dread my course. Read on. Bring no more vain oblation. God said, don't bring it. Yeah. Read on. And sin is abomination unto me. Read on. Your new moons and seven. I'm seven. All of the seven. Read on. I cannot. I cannot. Away with it. Away with it. It is iniquity. It is iniquity. Even a song with me. Read on. Your new moons and your appointed feet. Read on. My soul hate. Don't give God something he hate. Amen. Read on. They are trouble unto me. Trouble unto me. I am weary to bear them. God said you weary to bear them. And when you spread forth your hands. Oh, people, they are spreading forth their hands. 
Read on. I will hide my eyes from you. You don't want to be praying that God hide his eyes from you. Read on. I will hide my eyes from you. Read on. Yet when you make many prayers. You know, you know what? Elijah didn't yeah, make it. Elijah said, hear me now. When you make many prayers. Yes, I will not hear. What? I will not hear. And David said, oh, thou that hear that prayer. And to thee shall not. Say, you don't want nothing to cause God not to hear your prayer. I will I will hear. Amen. Your Tell hands God. are full of blood. Full of blood? Yes, wash you. Wash you. Make you clean. Make you clean. Put away the evil of your Lord. Yeah. Whatever you're doing that separating, separate you from God and hid his face, say, so won't hear. Get rid of it. Put away the evil of your Lord. Put away the evil of your Lord. From before my eyes. Hallelujah. From before my eyes. Stop it. Yeah. I said, cease. 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 Stop cutting off. Yes, Lord. Amen. Cut it off! Cut it off! Cease! Cease to do evil! To do evil! Learn to do well! Learn to do well! Seek judgment! Seek judgment! Believe the oppressed! Believe the oppressed! Judge the Father! Judge the Father! Leave for the will! You don't have to get mad with nobody, just get mad with me! In me! That is in my flesh! I have to get rid of me! There's something here in me! Oh, yes! Psalms, Psalms, go to Psalms 66 and verse 16 now. My God, when God deliver you, you're not ashamed to tell somebody. Mm -hmm. David said, come and hear mm -hmm. all he that fear God. Psalm 66 and 16. Yes, sir. Come and hear. They said, come and hear mm -hmm. all ye that fear God. You know, when God bring you out, you say like this, I got to tell somebody. I just can't keep it to myself. Amen. I've been so good to me. I got to tell somebody. Yeah. Everywhere you meet, every time you meet, they just got to reach my top with a right in thing. I want to tell something. You know when God bring you out, come and hear. All he that fear God. All he that fear God. I will declare what he has done for my soul. I want to tell somebody what God has done for my soul. Yes, I I cried at him with my smile. I cried unto him. Oh, saints, cried a blessing. I'm going to cry some more. I cried to him Wednesday night. I cried last night till after 12 in the morning and I rushed home, packed my stuff together and had to leave 3 30 in the morning and come on up here to New York. But uh, you know, I ain't going to let my flesh stop me. I'm going to get on my knees tonight again. I want to cry some more. I cry unto him with my mouth. With my mouth. And he was extolled. Read on. With my tongue. With my tongue. If I regard liberty. Read on. In my heart. In my, you know, but do you hear what the man of God say? I have a lot of iniquity. In my yeah. heart. In my heart. The Lord will not hear me. I ain't going to hear that. Vessel full of all yeah. time. He said, Wash, make you clean. Put a very evil after you do. God will not hear me. But very, but very, very, very. What a blessing when you pray and you know God to hear your prayer. God have heard me. Yes, he has yes, attention to my voice and my prayer. Oh, it's a blessing when you know God attend to the voice of your prayer. Blessed be the God. Blessed be the God. Blessed be God. Read on. Which has not turned away my prayer. God, God can turn. He said, when you make men to pray, he won't hear. But David said, God heard him. God didn't turn away his prayer. You don't want God to turn away your prayer, beloved. Which I've not turned away my prayer. No, his mercy from me. God could easily well turn away his mercy. Read on. Yes. Yes. Praise God. God is mercy from me. From me. Read on. God be merciful unto us. Yeah. God could turn away his mercy. Yes. You don't want God to turn away his mercy. Praise God. Whatever you do, beloved, don't you need God's mercy. God said, without him, we can do nothing. Time failing me. You that are out there in Redland, have 
yet been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. When they heard this, they were pricking their heart. Said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostle, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. I want to leave this with you all again in Luke chapter 16, 13. Remember, no servant. Yes. How many servants? No, no servant. servant. Serve two masters. My God. God ain't going to share with the devil. God is the devil boss. The devil can't do no more than God allow him to do. People might, sometimes we give the devil too much credit. The devil, the devil, the devil. But you know the devil has to acknowledge and say, he told Job, he told, he told God, he said, I can't touch Job. He's your servant. He said, does Job fear you or not? Have you not put a hedge around him? You know God has us hedging saints? The devil can't do what he desired to do. The devil, if he was up to him, he would love to destroy. But God said, I won't leave you in his hand. The devil couldn't do it. The devil had to acknowledge it. Does Job fear you for now? Have you not put a head all around him? Move the head. And he curse you through your face. But after all Job went to, Job said, what shall I receive? All good at that. I love the Lord. I know evil. The Lord give it and the Lord take it away. Instead of him cursing God, he blessed God. That's the way you got to do it, say, when you go through that test, come on back and give God the praise. He said, Lord, I thank you anyhow. Job said, oh, you slay me. Yeah, yet I will I trust him. You got to know how to trust God. God bless you. God keep you. We coming out. My God, we gonna pray our way out. Yes. We gonna pray until the back lift. We gonna pray. It's a prayer answering God. All right, God bless you. We'll be back next week, Lord's will in the same station, same hour, the same day. You can call us at 718. 584-0691. International callers can call us by WhatsApp at 803-518-5454. You may also visit us on the web at www.theholytemplechurch.net. Again, you can visit us on the web at www.theholytemplechurch.net. Until then, may God richly bless you. It's our prayer.
is able to sing. Ain't nothing too hard for God. I don't care what it is. God can fix it for you. He can do it for you. I God come expecting something from God. They came expecting to receive something of the Lord. You know that lame man? He looked at Peter. Am I right? Did he look at Peter and John? But he just didn't look to be looking. He looked expecting to receive. You ought to have an expectation that God want to do something for you. He want to do something for you. That lame man, he was looking. He carried every day at the gate. Beautiful. Saw so Peter and John in Acts, the third chapter, about to go in the temple. He asked Acts, third chapter and verse one. Now when Peter and John went up together into the temple of the hour of prayer. You see, prayer is the key things. So many people miss the hour of prayer. But prayer is so essential. Amen. It's so needful. That's why God said they not always to pray and not to faint. That's it, it went up at the hour of prayer. Yes. In yes. the temple hour of prayer being the ninth hour. They have a prayer hour. Yeah. Read on. And certainly a lame from his mother who was cared for they lay dead at the gate. Yes. The temple. Read on. He called people to ask on them. He was dead. To the temple. He was looking for something in the natural. Read on. Who seen Peter and John going to, about to go into the temple, ask in arms. Ask and arms. Peter fastened his eyes upon him. By John. God says, Peter fastened. Yes. His eyes upon him. With John. Both of them. Yes. Read on. Look on us. Look on us. He gave he unto them, expecting to receive something. Come from on, saints. When you come to God, you got to come expecting. I'm expecting he got to do something. I don't know what it is, but I'm expecting something from God. I've got to bow my knees before God, but I'm going before God because he not coming to me. He must believe that he is. And that he is a reward of all them that diligently seek him. So I'm coming expecting Yes. I'm expecting to receive something of them. After them, then Peter said, Peter said, silver and gold. Silver and gold. Have I none? Have I none? Such as I have. Such as I have. I give I thee. I'm going to give you something better than what you're looking for. Hallelujah. You've been carrying here every day and you've been getting silver and gold and it's not able to help you. But what a God such as I have. Such as I have give I thee. What I'm gonna give you, it's gonna make you get up. You won't have to be carried no more. Give I thee in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. What? Rise. He was expecting something. Rise up and walk. And he took them by the right hand. Read on. And lift him up. Look, you know God can lift you up yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. condition you're in. Whatever you're battling right now, God can lift you out that condition. The devil is alive. Oh, yes. God can lift you out of it. Lift him up. Lift them up. In the meeting. Not go and come. But immediately, see your ankle bones. God can turn the thing for you so quick. Immediately, his ankle bones. Immediately, God can do. He's an anti God. He lift him up, and immediately, his ankle bones. His ankle bones receive strength. It receives strength. Lift him up.
them the challenge right now. God is an untimed God. Immediately. Immediately. Yes, his feet and ankle bones. Yes. Nobody have to carry no more. His feet and his ankle bones. Receive strength. You know God can strengthen you and lift you up. I don't care what it is, my brother. God is in you. I don't care what it is, my sister. God is in you. The devil is a liar. Whatever it is, my mother, God is able. God can lift you up. He can lift you out. Don't, don't let men heal the person. But yet, please, man. And you fool around with what men say, they will beat you down. But keep your eyes on God. He's the one going to lift you up immediately. Immediately. His feet and anchor bone receives strength. Receive strength. He leads it up. Leap. Look what God has this lame man that carry leaping up. And stood and stood. Still. And walked and entered with them. God, he ain't carried no more. He entered with them walking. In the temple walking. Walking. Leaping. Leaping. Praising God. This man was leaping. God lifted him up and up. God has the man leaping. God has the man praising God. Praising God. Praising God. I read all the people who saw him. God will do something. God will make a brand new out of your life. God can change your life. All the people saw him. Yes, saw him walking and praising God. Read on. And they knew. You see, God can use somebody who everybody knows. And use you and may work a miracle in your life. Yeah. They knew that it was He. That it was He. He set for arms at the beautiful gate. My God, my God. Read up. At the beautiful gate of the temple. Yes. And they were filled with wonder. God can turn work a miracle. Say, don't never give up. Your condition is not beyond the I don't care what your condition, I don't care what you're battling right now. He that cometh to God must believe that he is. Do you hear what God said? All God wants us to do is to believe it. That he is. I don't care what your condition, I don't care how low you might go down. Yes. Say, I will brought low, but God will help you. God will lift you out of that condition. All you got to come, come to God. <coughs> and you that tarrying by the Holy Ghost. My yes. brother Jackson, all of you. I see Sister Tam, Tam, my grandson. Yes, sir. My yes. God, I've been praying for all of you. I'm already my, oh. going through my prayer. I was wrestling. Since the church got power with God. We're not powerless. The devil wants you to think you just walk around helpless. No. no. The devil is alive. Oh, yes. He will have you thinking, oh, I got it. The devil don't got it. No. God is the devil boss. Yes. Get me Job 1 and 6. God is the devil boss. Yes. He says, he, 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 oh, God questions that the devil. Where are you going? Yes. Yeah. Out of your father, where are you going? Yeah, yes. Now there was a day. Yes. When the synagogue came to present himself before the Lord. Yes. And Satan right. came also among them. Yeah. Here comes Satan right in the middle. You think you come here, Satan ain't going to come? Mm. It's devil. Mm. He's an enemy of all righteousness. Oh, yes. He will come right in our midst and let somebody act up and cause a lot of trouble. But let me tell you, just remember, in the midst of it, tell yourself, that's not God. Because God is not the author of God. God ain't going to do any such thing. You know the God and you know when the enemy works. You read on. And the Lord said unto Satan, where's coming down? Where are you coming from? Then said, answer the Lord. Yes. And said, from going to and fro in the earth. I'm just walking up and down in the earth. And from walking up and down in it. I'm walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan. The Lord said unto Satan. As I consider my servant Job. You, you have the nerve coming among my people. Jesus. My servant Job. You don't know who you're coming among. My servant Job. There is no like in me. Earth. There is none like him in the earth. A perfect and upright man. Upright man. One that fear God in the street. Read on. And Satan answered the Lord and said, Listen to the devil. Do Job fear God for naught? 
does he fear you? Who wouldn't fear you? You got such a protection, such a hedge around him. Yes. Does Job fear you for not? As I made a hedge about him. Saints, God. And you're in the school teaching those children. You don't know what's in their heart. Yeah. But God have your hedge. Yeah. God have his protection. Oh, my I remember when I was young one in Columbia, she told me all day she would give me a testimony. Right? You can be right up. Death can be at your door. Yeah. But God have your power. Amen. God have the hedge around him. Say so all day you couldn't understand why this individual just came. They were in there. Partnering together. And the person just stopped. Come and stare at him with a mean stare at him. And just look at him. And he said, why are you staring at me like this? And he just keeps staring. And then after a while, he went out in the living room. And he come and stare at her again. And went out. And then while she in there doing all her, all her study and her notes, she heard a sound go, POW! Oh, yeah. She went out, the boy shot himself right, killed him. It is just looking at her. But God wouldn't leave. Boy, destroy her and destroy himself. But God said, I won't leave you. In the hand. Say, you don't know what God shielding you and protecting you from. You don't even know the protection. You don't even know the benefit. You don't know the covering. You know that that was alone. But God said, Has I not laid the hedge about him? God got us hedging sins. God said, I won't leave you in jail. God said, I'm not going to leave you. I'm not going to give them the power to destroy. He desired to destroy her. But God took the hedge. Say to you better thank God for having me. Don't take this life. God got us power. God got you never know how you walk in the evil of David's say, hey, God, walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. But you going out in the school, you don't know how many would love to destroy you. Yes. But God said, I'm going to leave you. I'm not going to leave you in there. And we have something to thank God. It's mercy for God. Don't take it. She said, that young boy just looking. I come right over her. Mm -hmm. Why are you all over me? Why are you looking? The person walked up and went in the living room next to him. Bow! His eyes, everything. That was it. Who? Desire? That could be a great. But thank God for his mercy, saints. You better learn how to praise God for his mercy. You better learn how to thank God. God didn't leave us into the devil. We are. He said, You put a head. You know, God got us. Fool around and get out from underneath the covering of God. Oh, yes. How God has not done made a hedge about them. You know, God have us hedging saints, even though they're watching us. Yeah. But David said, the wicked yes. watch it, yes. the righteous, and see. Yeah. He wants to slay everyone, oh, yes. but yes. God said, I'm not going to oh, leave you. Yeah. Lord, I thank you for your mercy. Hallelujah. I thank you for the covering, Lord. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for the mercy. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord. I thank you. God said, no weapon. Yes, yes. God said, no weapon. That form against you. I don't care what they do. I don't care how they form it. I'm not going to let it prosper. Shall prosper. Yeah. Every tongue that rise up. Yeah. 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 David 
God said. Yes. Stay with God. Yes. God said, I'm not going to let it prosper. I don't care what they do. I don't care how low you might go down. Stay with God. Stay with God. Oh, the God. run. Oh. What you say, yes. David? The run oh, of the wicked. Yes. God said, I'm not going to let it rest Hallelujah. upon the righteous. Say, it's a lot of benefits. We have in God. Don't let the devil talk you out and show you the things of the world to pull you away from God. I'm encouraging you. Stay with God. Stay with your maker. Stay with God, beloved. It's power. We're not powerless. We are not powerless. He says in 2 Peter chapter 1 and the third verse, according to the divine we got the divine. God has his divine power. has given unto us. What? All things that pertain unto life. You know when you got the divine power, you're something to thank God for. I'm praying for all of you young ones that, and all of you brother Jackson and ones that who don't have it, brother Sean. Your brother have a good testimony about his parents. You all were brought up in a good environment. Struggle to seek to get the divine power. Amen. Everybody needs the divine power. Amen. You know, I don't want to live in a world like this without the divine power. Oh, right. Some of you got so much shield of protection. How about the ones who don't have father? Yeah. Mother Lewis is sick or something. Without a father, without a father, I got to make this journey. Oh, we got loved ones going and coming and mama, no mother to say, don't do this stuff, don't do this stuff. But they have to trust the divine power. You see, you're going to have to know God. You're going to have to trust the divine power. No father, ain't nobody in the house with them, but they have to trust the divine power. You see, everybody, you're going to have to know son. You won't have to be on the daddy's sheet all the time. But you're going to have to trust the divine power. Oh, yeah. I call it. This is divine power. You, I need that divine power, saints. Every one of us need. You're going to be away from all humanity. Yeah. But you're going to know God say, I won't leave you. Neither will I forsake you. So that I will boldly say, the Lord, when nobody around you, no song, no music, you have to trust the divine power. You got to trust what greater is He that is in you. You got to trust the divine power. I see my brother Michael back there. I'm praying for him. Oh, everybody be yes. it plain sense. Every, even after you have it. You still gonna have to stir up the gift. Don't let it go down on you. You got even after you got the power. Don't walk around and say, I, 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 I think I got it. You better activate it. You know what I'm saying? You got to activate it. It won't, it won't work. You might turn on the gas, but you got to activate. Got to have some light. So you might they turn the gas off, but you need something to light it up. You need to activate that power on you then. Hallelujah. I call it. Yes, it's divine power. You need to activate that divine power on you then. Don't go down. Do it out. Put up a fight. Oh, Read up. Has given unto us. Have given unto us. All things that pertain unto life and godliness. Life and godliness. Through the knowledge of him that called us his glory and virtue. You know it's a blessing when you get the knowledge of God. Yes. You come in here, you get the knowledge of God. You know how to pray. You know how to fast. Say, it's praying time. Oh, yes. So that the pastor has got the pastor. Go ahead. Call all night praying on me. Tell me that the Alabama call on my friend. Yes. I need that information. We are praying. I see I'm going up in headquarters. I'm going to try them all. Right. Yes. Lord, you know, out of every city, they came to seek the Lord. It's time to seek God's saints. Hey, 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 don't lay back. It's trouble time. 
Jehoshaphat. And then when they came, the people come from their train here, all around there, and going wherever you got to come from, more on to stir up stuff. Whose heart? Whose heart was stir up in them? They came to seek the Lord. You know, I'm going to lay before God. And I said, Bishop, you don't tire? And yeah, but I'm going to tell you. Time for prayer just to see. I love when I get in that secret place and I can feel God. He that dwelleth where in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of saints. If there is any blockage there, get rid of that blockage. I don't want to be on my knees making yes. many prayer. And God said, I'm here. I hope now. Hear me, Elijah, and hear me now. Hear me now. Hear me now. Come on, Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. My God, I don't want to fast and pray and God ain't hear me. Oh, come on, Lord. Hear me now. Hear me now. That's that too. You know, I will tell them in Colombia, some people, some time we flesh get beside us. Say, oh no, they stay in the water. They pray in the corner. Oh, shut it down. I don't know. They woman. I call them home. But Esther was a woman. Oh, yes. All right. Amen. But Mordecai meets Am I right? Yeah, he's right. But Mordecai was in trouble. That's it. And he needs some help. And he told Esther, you're in the palace. Go speak to the king. Who knows whether God put you in that position for a time such as this. They don't put it out to slay and kill all the Jews. My God, and you there, Esther, did it. As in Esther 4, he said, look, Hadash, go say to Mordecai. Is 30 days. I have not seen the golden scepter. And you know the rule. Nobody can come to the king except the golden scepter is stretched out to water. I haven't seen it stretched out 30 days. But oh, Monica, my God is said, think as thou. Not with thyself. Don't think in yourself. Yeah, that thou shalt escape the king's house. Because you're in the king's house. Because you're in the king palace. Yes. You're going to escape yes. more than all the Jews. For if thou shalt hold thy peace at this time. My side. God, don't do nothing. But God's going to do something. Yeah. Saints, you know, God got the law. Say, sometimes people try to hold back. Like I tell them, oh, well, yeah. it's not good to give in more. Some get to the place where they don't even want to pay the tithes. Mm. And think they're hurting, they're hurting, you're hurting yourself. Oh, yeah. You know, it's one thing when men curse you, but God said you are cursed. Oh, curse. With a, any time God curse you, you think I'm going to let a few dollars cost God to curse me? Oh, yeah. I took that curse and came, came, say, a fire man, a fugitive, and anybody found me gonna kill me. God said, I'll put a mark on you. So they won't kill you. God can curse you. Oh, yes. Don't let a few dollars cost God to curse you. Amen. Amen. Say, bring in all the ties and all the name, God. God. You gonna run. God? Yeah, yeah, and you think you're robbing this of green? Mm -hmm. You're robbing this of robbery? Mm -hmm. oh, Yet you have robbed me. Yet you have robbed me. I make sure uh, Columbia, wherever I don't I preach, I don't take a penny off. Oh, praise God. He said, Max, are you sure, Bishop? You know? I said, No, that's it. I'm trusting yeah. And I know God is a way maker. God will make ways out of the way. All I have to do, just trust God. He will make way. Will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. Yet you. 
God said, you you're right. right. Who you right? Not Bishop Green. You robbed me. You robbed me. But you say, where have you robbed me? Where have you robbed me? Where? Read, read up. In tithes and offerings. In tithes? Tithes and offerings. You know, that's a very serious thing. God told and said, hypocrites, hey, these you are to have done, but don't leave the rest and down judgment paper. Say so you ought to pay your time. So I say, hey, you don't have to pay. You better pay. Oh, yes. Do you know, say, I got my diet just in case I go over extra. Every time I go to give, I go over extra. I know the God that I serve. I know where he brought me from. I don't want him blowing it. God can blow on that once and then he does. You end up, I'm going to end up here. Because you wouldn't do God right. And God blow on it. Don't fool around and play around. Don't let a few dollars cost you to be cursed by God. You're cursed with a curse. My, not just a regular curse, but with a curse. Mm -hmm. My God, when God curses me, you know, I don't want a few dollars. I give him and I give him more to him. Amen. And you know, he blessed me more. Amen. And I hear people, I don't just walk up there. I don't work my job no more. Yeah. I pray and God tell me, give it up. And do it for I got my church, I got my church. I have so many people calling me. I went down there this week and I could really use the money. Man, we need a new unit. God will prove you now. I've been praying now. And God stopped me and said, give it up and get it get the time. And I used to be glad to go back and choose that. Man, let me and work to make good money. But God tell me to give it. Yes. I said, Lord, I think that's a hard blow. I told him I've been doing it for 46 years. And he tell me to give it up. I told him that's not my staff of I said, but I'm going to obey God. Fool around and get him somehow. I you did fall and you break my back or something. For disobeying God. So you know I have to humble myself. Nice. You know what I did? I shed a few tears, but I said, Lord, you got to be coming. You tell me to give it up, I'm going to obey. I'm going to obey you. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> what are you going to do? I said, shoot and take on the car. Thank God. I said, shoot and take on the car. I told him about a human. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, quick, $5,000. So that, go ahead. You should you show it? I said, I'm sure. Go ahead and do it. I'm going to. God will do things to prove oh, you. Yes, yes, yes. God will put something close to you to prove it. Amen. To see if you're going to obey just like he did Abraham. I like it. Yeah. In all the stuff. <laughs> oh, Abraham, he wouldn't stop it. God will use something close to you to prove you now. No, don't let money get in your way. Man, and say you are God. Man. Give it. Praise <laughs> God. There was a time I was hurting so much, and Bishop preached so hard, and Bishop preached so hard, and died, and so my offering. What's the ask for your whole paycheck? Lord, mercy. I got some. Here, put it in the end of the. <laughs> All right. The deacon's down come over the basket. <laughs> I turn away my head. I was hurting so bad that I turned my head and start a song. <laughs> start, start a song. He will provide. I said, Lord, I don't know how you're going to provide, but I give it anyhow. When do this thing do? But do the way maker. And in those days, David said, I've been young, now I'm old, yet I've never seen the right just forsaken. God never let me get put out. God never let me do anything. God make way. God wants you to prove him. God wants you to prove him, saints. 
Then let money cause you to stand up. Right. I got finish it. Give yeah, courage with the courage. <laughs> go back, go back there. We go and get into the prime. I want to read this with John, with Esther. Yeah. You know, don't let some. Sometimes the sister can come and say, you find me getting prior with me? I want us. I need I need you to pray on this thing. Yeah. Hey, pray one another say. Esther never, uh, uh, Mordecai sent that news to Esther. Take us down, be ready. If I was to inform, because you're in King Palace, you're going to escape more than all the Jews. If you have this time, hold your peace, don't do nothing. God going to grant one. The, the, memorize and enlargement. You know, God will let somebody do what I don't do. That's what God reserves. Amen. Amen. God will let somebody do what I won't do and what Amen. you won't do. Right. God will let it come from another. Read up. Read up. Wait. Read. Well, thou hold all together, hold thy peace at this time. Whatever you do, don't hold out that God will help. Yes. At this time, they the enlargement and deliverance. God gonna let somebody come and give enlargement and deliverance. Yes, and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place. From another place. But thou, Rita, thy father house shall be destroyed. Rita, and who knows uh, whether thou at this time, so whether thou at this time, you don't know what God put you in that place for such a for time, such as, a this. time yeah. as this. Rita, then as the bad man. Turn. Go back to Mordecai and what, this answer. What, what Mordecai is telling me, he got me, it's right. And give him this answer. Go, go. Gather together all the Jews that are present. Read up. And Shushan. Read up. And fast ye for me. Fast ye for me. And neither eat nor drink three days. That's a fast. Don't yeah. eat. Night or day. Don't drink. Night. Three days. Night or day. Also, my man, maiden. Even though we're in the palace, you're going to do it. Once. With fast. Some people, you don't have to wait for Bishop call right. for us. Nine your head. Oh, yes. When you see the enemy coming, yeah. it's time to nine your yeah. head. Yeah. So that when you look and say, you know, let's have our nine. And uh, mother, but pray in the days of Bishop Good, pray women gonna have all night prayer. And all the brethren, all of us come together and cry out before God. You know, Bishop Kubin used to come out. Amen. Oh yeah, he would be all night dragging on with us. For all night prayer is very needful. Amen. Night and day. Yes. Read up. I also. I also and my maiden will fast likewise. Likewise. And so will I go in unto the king. And after we fast, fasting can break some promises. Yeah. Fasting. How did the king and the Levi get the victory? Yeah. When, when Jonah put the warning, yes. let how many days? Three yes. days. And Nineveh are going to be destroyed. The king, whatever you got to put aside, get rid of it. Yes. What did the king of Nineveh? Strip off his robe. Yes. Am I right? Yes, it is. And set out the proclamation, say, let it be pronounced throughout all Nineveh. Don't let men, these hurt. Don't let nothing in. Let them put on sackcloth and ashes, and I'm going to come off from off my robe. From off the throne and put on sackcloth, I'm going to get out the robe and I'm going to cry mightily right. unto God. Yes. Now, I'm going to bow, I ain't going to eat, I'm not going to drink. Who knows if God let every man turn yes. from the violence? It's a lot of yes. violence in these, in the people's hearts. It's a lot of evil. We have to pray and break that power. Yes, and if we're not prayerful, the yes, devil will let it come right yes, in among us. Yes, we got to pray. Yes, let the turn. Yes, let men and beasts. Let men and beasts. Covered with sackcloth. 
and cry mighty yeah. unto God. Let them, it's time to cry out to God, saints. It's time to bow our knees and cry God, mightily unto God. And to God. Yeah. Yeah. Let them turn everyone from his evil way. It's a lot of evil. Amen. And if, you, if you're not mindful and watchful, they will bring that evil and oh, wicked yes. way right yes. in the church. Yes, yes. Sir. yes. Yeah. Let them turn Let everyone from his evil way. From his evil way. From yeah. the violence that is in their hand. It's a lot of violence in people oh my God. that go around mad. Oh my God. Oh my God. They don't even look at them. Oh my God. They're full of violence. Yeah. Close out. Who can tell? Who can tell? God will turn and repent. And read up. And turn from the fierce anger. For God is angry with this whole wicked world. Amen. It's not. We need God mercy, say. So when you bow your knees tonight, get down to business and cry out to God. You and God. We want God to turn. Who can tell? Who can tell? God will turn and repent. And repent. And turn away. Read up. From his fierce anger. Read up. That we perish not. That we perish not. And God saw their works. God see your works. God see you giving up your bed and come and lay before him tonight. God see their works. Yes, and God saw their works. Read up. And they turned from their evil ways. God know when when somebody turns. God know when you turn. If my people, which are called by my name, will do what? Just humble them. I don't see in a time like this, this world, God getting ready to wipe this world out. You think I don't want to get lifted up. I want to humble. I want to stay at God's mercy. I'm begging God for mercy. I'm saying, I'm begging God. I'm begging God. I lay before Him to seek something. That's the, and I came back again last night and laid before him again. What's the matter? Oh, God see our words. God bless you. God keep you. Stay strong. Stay with God. God. Thank you. 